Hello everyone, Dark Mario Luigi here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Nimpai's Adventure. You might be wondering why I have a bomb chew here. That's because I decided to go back to the castle town to actually get another, uh, some bomb chews. Because there is like a building in castle town where you can buy bomb chews. So I just decided to do that off screen, because we need them in this next room. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wait for these spike balls to come at you, and there's the bomb, and there's the explode, and yeah, you might have to do this a couple times, and just one more, and there we go. That was all. Like that was the easy part. This, now this, this is the hard part. It, if you see on the ceiling, you might not be able to see it, but there's actually keys there that you can't kill from here. You actually need the bomb chews to actually kill, so just keep using them and hopefully they will actually hit the keys. So just keep using them. Yes! Alright, you, you just have to use all ten of them and they will eventually hit those keys. And over here, there is a gold book below. Hooray! If you pause, go to the pause menu, that's actually all of the gold sculptures inside Jobby Jobby's building. So, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So, now we can just leave this area. And go to this next room. I'm actually gonna save because I there's like a really easy chance for you to actually fall down to those holes and I really don't want to do that. Oh no! See what I mean? Yeah, save saves come coming really that handy because I really Whoa, that was actually really close to me. See, I really didn't want to fall down there. So now the next area that we need to go to is to the left here. And this is pretty much the, the last room of the game. And this this area, there's a body of water here that normally wasn't there in the original game. But what you want to do is you actually want to grab your slingshot. Oh, wait, I still want those bombs. And there is a switch right over there. So hit that. And that creates a block right up there. So let's just kill this other sculpture. And climb up. I'm actually gonna bring up my uh, bomb, my uh, lens of truth. Whoops. And as you can see, there is a sculpture right there. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually kill this way, but I'm just gonna try waiting and... And of course, I guess that doesn't work. So I guess I'm just gonna save again, because I, this takes some like really precise backflip. But then you wanna like try and backflip onto that ice block without actually landing right under the skull shell so you will like fall so you just need to be really careful and of course ah, ah dang it now this might take a me a few tries no Sorry, this is actually taking a long time. Yes! Alright. No, oh, please don't fall. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use my slingshot to kill this guy, because I don't even want to try and use my sword. That was a close one. All I have to do is just jump on this next platform, and there is a switch that we can hit right here. But there is another sculpture 
You can just go podcast and then you just it out. <laughs> you landed on it. It's kind of funny. Yeah, that was a lot easier than what we were trying to do before. So now we we can actually go into the next this next room, which is actually the boss, believe it or not. So yeah, we're almost done with this dungeon. Ooh, electric jellyfish. That looks so gross. Yeah, Baronade. Uh, as usually, like all the like all the other boss fights. Oh, we need our boomerang. With all the other boss fights, like the, these fights are a lot harder because it added a lot of extra. Sticks because that will make this fight go by a lot faster. Wait, no, why did I do that? Thank you, Stick. Then just dodge his Killed this huge monster. What? This is not gonna be fun for you. Let's talk. Uh, why wouldn't it be fun for me? Uh, completed all three of the child dungeons. Oh no, she's staring at me. And we fell. Link was like, Link's like, what did I just see? You, you look cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, you saved Lord Jabu Jabu. Jabu, I guess I'll reward you. And you know what's coming. We're gonna get the last medallion. Blah, blah, blah. Obtain the Zora's Sapphire. This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. You have collected all three spiritual stones. Hooray! Luigi, let's go. And here's something really cool. You know, normally you would be like jumped, dropped right out from the Zora's River, but actually you get sent over here in a completely new area. That's really nice. And you can't actually use your sword, surprisingly. Ooh, 
There's no fire! That's what we needed this whole entire game! So let's just grab out our bottle, and yes, we'll, we actually have to use one of our fairies. That's fine. Anyways, it's, Luigi, it's the holy fire. Take some in your bottle. We must return to the flooded tomb. You may save and re rest the, reset the game once you're done here. Yeah, breaking the fourth wall, aren't you, Tyler? Tail. Got the holy fire in a bottle. This is cool flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, the, yeah, we actually need to do what the very sad. We need to save our game and reset the game. So we will be taken to the flooded tomb. So let's just go back to file two. And okay, now here we are, the flooded tomb. Now we can actually like get rid of this uh, wall thing. So we can finally continue. We've been waiting all this time to see what's behind the store. This is so exciting. Can't wait. <laughs> Luigi, we're in there. Uh, that's kind of some weird grammar placement. Let's see what's inside. All right. Come on, Luigi. Yeah, this is pretty much the same like area in the original game where you get the sun, like the song of storm. Like, is it sun? I think it's the sun, sun song. Yeah, it is. And this takes us to the Temple of Time. Guess what, guys? We're gonna become adult now. So exciting! And also not really exciting because the game is gonna get so much harder from here on out. Oh, there's Ganondorf. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you fought the temple of you found the temple of time. You know, I'm not afraid of this sword. Let's have fun with Hyrule now. Okay. Luigi. Wake up. Luigi, the chosen one. Yeah, this is pretty much the same cutscene as in the original game once we become adult. Holy crap, it's Santa Claus! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it's Raru, one of the ancient sages. Luigi, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Yeah, yeah, we're actually adult now. Hooray! We've hit puberty! Look, Luigi, you're big now. You're, you've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time can pull it from the ped pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Uh, I guess. But remember... Though so you open the flooded tomb in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the brutal king of thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the king of evil. Luigi, take this. That was kind of a, an abrupt ending. And yay, our first medallion! The Light medall Medallion, Raro the Sage, that adds his power to yours. 
find the other sages and save Hyrule. Don't worry, I will. And now we are back here at the Temple of Time as it is old. Yay! But we can't use any of our kid like Link items, which we kind of have to get the hook shot right away. And now we can just leave the flooded tomb. Well, actually, now that we were an adult, like Zora's domain looks. Like, not very much has changed, but there are a few, like, different character placements, and, uh, you know, like, as an adult link in the original game, like, this place was kind of iced over. Now, like, certain parts of Zora's Domain will actually have, like, ice on it. And, uh, yeah, here we are. We're in Zora's Domain as an adult. And there's this old man right here, and there's a switch that... Already been hit. Seven years ago, Ganondorf came in here and smashed that switch. And I guess Ganondorf did that? Alright. And there's a Zora right there, and there's actually a guy up there that if you talk to him, he, like, I see you can buy something from him for 200 rupees, and all you really get is the like, ice arrows. That, that was actually pretty useful, and I don't, I don't think you actually really need to use that for anything, but, uh, yeah, it's there. We're actually gonna go this way, and there's a gold skull show there, but we can't get that yet. And now, once we, if we enter this way, we go into a new area, the snow path. This looks completely different from Zora's River. Actually, I just have to jump right here. And, uh, you don't need to kill all these guys. I, I, like, nothing, else, nothing happens when you kill all of them. But entering in here brings like, us to the Crystal Shrine. It's basically replaced with the Ice Cavern from the original game. And this place is completely customized. Like, like the music is still the same, you know, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. And, uh... Oh, right, I think we actually do need to kill all of them. No! Uh, let's just wait for one of these, like, little ice guys. What, what are they called? Freezers! We have to all of these freezers to open that door to the left. And is there one more? Come on. I know there's one more. Oh, right. We actually did need to kill those skeletons. Weirdly enough, if you hit one of those pots, there's actually a small key inside one of those pots. It's kind of weird, but now we can actually go inside this room. And in here, there's some Lobos that we can get. So let's just kill these guys. Come on. Attack! And there's actually one more. You know, I'm gonna grab those ducky nuts. He's over here. No. Not in this corner. One of these corners has another. Oh, there we go. And that was the last one. And that opens that up, so we can enter in that door. Now those two treasure chests here is like you don't just don't bother with opening them. Those are traps, like ice traps. So let's climb up here. And we are in this room. I'm actually gonna save because I don't. I really don't want to accidentally fall down and. Here we have some Stalfos! Fight. 
You don't have to fight them, I'm just gonna fight them anyways. So that goes one down. So there's another one. Oh no, don't, 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 there we go. And here in this treasure chest is a blue ruby and also a switch hidden in And that creates this platform right here. And then go inside this room. This room is also another room that's really hard, so I'm gonna save again because I in case I die. But there's three iron knuckles that we need to find. But it's better if you like fight yeah. one of the yeah. So I'll just do a backflip. Ow! Oh no. I'm not about to die. Oh! As soon as you do, you go back and just backflip right away so he doesn't get a chance to hit you. Oh man! Yeah, of course. Let's just use one of our fairies. Ugh. There we go. Now one of them is down. And I'm gonna save again because in case I die. This is really no fun, especially if like all you know, well, this. This is really ice is really slippery, so that makes this a lot harder. That, that, this last part is really easy. You just have to like jump attack and do the backflip, and then they don't have a chance to attack you. First stage is like a, a harder one. It has more Once we've killed all three of the Iron Knuckles, a treasure chest will appear. And that contains something awesome! Yep, we got the long shot! Hooray! It's upgraded to a hook shot. And I believe this is like this is one of those one of those things where we don't need to get the hookshot twice. It's actually like upgraded. I'm not exactly sure on that, but well, anyways, like you might be wondering how we're gonna get back there, but there's actually a switch right here that we can hit. And if we look up for uh wait, we actually have a hookshot on the display with this. Oh right, there's these two platforms that you can jump across. And there's another treasure chest way all the way over there that we can touch on. And there is a soul chain over here. It's pretty cool. And inside this treasure chest, all it is is just blue rays. So we're just gonna drop down. Yeah, we really don't need to do anything else in the Crystal Shrine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's an ending to it, but all we really needed to go in there for was the for the hook shot. So now we can pretty much just leave. And there is actually another golden sculpture in this area, but we actually need the like the ha horns hammer for to get that sculpture. So I sort of just have to save that for later. So now that we have the hook shot, we can actually get this full shiller right here. So let's just get it. Oh. There we go. 
And you know what? I'm actually gonna get some of my, two of my bottles and place them in fairies. Cause I need all the fairies I can get. And just uh, equip back the hookshot and... Why not? Let's place bottles here. And now that we have the hookshot, we can actually get back to the Warren City. Because I, I was, like, I'll show you what, what I mean by we actually need the hookshot for that. So nothing's really different in like the Lost Woods. Except we can't actually go to the Deep Wood Shrine. It just takes us back to the beginning, for some reason. All we have to do is just go to the Goron City. And as you can see, there's this, like, middle, like, half-looking, like, gate here that we can't access to. So this is why we actually need the, the hookshot to actually get across. And now we actually have to go through this whole entire maze thing again, but it's a little bit different. So let's just kill the, the dongos first. Come on. I don't actually need to get them, but I'm gonna get them out of the way. Come on. Blow your fire! There we go. And over here is a switch that you can hit. And that opens up again all the way up there. And you can actually like, use your hookshot on uh, these fences up here, so you can hookshot all the way up here. And behind here, there actually is another Skulltula. Man, we're just getting Skulltula left and right here. Now, this, I haven't actually got this like whole place like memorized, so might be a little bit confusing. Yeah, you can actually hook shot onto this like little like, thing where the coin yeah. like ruby and emerald will, would have been placed. And just go over here and uh, this is what the gate that actually opened. And down here is a switch that you can hit. And that opens up another gate. Uh, yeah, I might get turned around in this place. Is this area uh, did something? I believe it's down more. Alright, uh, yeah, I opened up this gate. And there's a switch right here. Press. And that opens up another gate all the way back up. So I just need to draw a hookshot thing again. And uh, just gonna hookshot that thing again too. Ah, I guess we just have to climb on it. And yeah, that opened the gate over here. Oh crap! You uh, wouldn't have to fall out like that. You actually have to be really careful when you walk across this. Don't walk too fast. And there we go. That and then this gate is open now. Let's this other switch. And that opens up that other gate, gate back in like the bottom where like, that first gate was open. I'm leaving anyways. Nope. Oh, that's right. It's, an, it's another one of those gates that was open. <sighs> so stupid. 
No! There we go. No, I believe... Uh, yeah, it's that one. Oh, right, no, 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 it's not. That leads to the lost buds. So this area... Uh, no. uh, I think it's on the, all the way on the other side. This fish is really confusing. Uh, oh right, there's another fish. That opens that great gate there where that lava area is. So I believe that was over here. Oh yeah, yeah it was. So we don't need we can just walk across the lava, but I don't wanna take a lot of damage. So we just took shot all the way here. And there's the last switch. Now this place is not hard, you just need to memorize where all the switches are. So let's just get back up. And now we can leave. And now we are back here at Death Mountain Trail. And the only real di difference is here is actually the logging in here. They're really easy to find now with, with your uh, Master Sword. But we don't need to find them, we can just dodge them. So let's see how many Sculptulas I have. Yes, I have 34. And now we are here at Kakariko Village, and you know, might notice the music is very similar to the music in Majora's Mask, the Pirate's Fortress. That's because there's actually Gerudos here, like around the Kakariko. That's really weird. We actually have to stun the Gerudos. Get across. I'm actually gonna go straight to the um, socialist house because I want to get the next upgrade before we stop the video. And the guy is over here. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And we get the giant's wallet. What a huge wallet. Now we can carry up to 500 rupees. That's pretty cool. So now I can leave and I'm actually going to save the rest of this area for the next part. So guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment on what you thought about the video. And I will see you guys next time for... Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Pie's Adventure. Have a wonderful day, guys, and 